Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into Advanced Bravely. We're diving into episode 26, I believe. 26? Yes. Um, uh, yeah, at the end of episode 25, we had that whole unfortunate series of events that took place between Yao and that whole Black Panther. Is that the name of the other group? Bodyguard people? I don't know other bodyguard group whatever who tried to jump him and basically mutilated his face um and then zong came around kicked that guy's ass i think he deserved a little bit more but he ran off took yao to the hospital yao was more or less so upset that his face was scarred like that because we know that yao's got that obsession with you know just keeping everything pristine and beautiful and gorgeous so he's like oh my god you don't look at me go away don't you can't see me and zong's just like baby i'm not going nowhere it's like come back after whatever after weeks and i'm healed it's like no i'm not going nowhere and he's just holding his hand the whole way and i'm like baby you better hold your man down um i know some of you guys told me down in the comment section that Zong actually did go in a little bit harder in the novel than he did here. He, he broke some bones and almost beat him to death, but obviously we had to tone some things down for the television, so I'm like, okay, I get that. Um, and then someone also mentioned that somewhere around here, not exactly sure where, but somewhere around this time frame, maybe a couple episodes beforehand, was when the series, I think, got canceled originally. Um, and then it got brought back and then they did like a really quick just sort of like wrap up so they just mm, so they toned things down a little bit for the last few episodes just to wrap up the storyline um, so that's why like you know some of the fight choreography seemed kind of watered down in last episode or and, you know some other things felt a little bit off just because they were they were toning this stuff down so they can just get through the series before getting canceled again so okay that makes sense too I'll keep that in the back of my mind too uh, but yeah, we're just going to dive in, move forward, and see where this episode takes us.你非得跟他动手吗 Because friends. And the romantic music playing underneath because friends. Shang 
，却后感伤，远了又望，暗淡的微凉。但没有了你给我的太阳星的光芒，再也找不到我距离你的方向。It's like he keeps having nightmares and whatnot. Then he's waking up and seeing Zong. Then he's like, "Okay, everything's fine," and then just goes back. Again, because friendship, bromance, my ass. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look as bad as I anticipated it being. Like as heavily as his face was being like drug across that asphalt and whatnot, I was expecting a lot more scarring. So, yes, it's not pleasant. It's terribly unfortunate, but still, it's not nearly as severe as I thought it was going to be. Of course, this is probably a little bit later. My two eyes are completely healed. Almost done. 差不多是差多少啊？基本看不出来，是吗？哈哈 ，baby， 你去帮我把这个调高点，做高一些。<笑>干嘛、mm-hmm. ？I'm sorry, you can't put that ass in my face and not expect me to want to touch it. 你特招人稀罕。Mm-hmm. Friends. Hey, 阿姨你好。儿子，儿子，快让妈看看。儿子，哎呦，哎呦，这么漂亮的，哎呀，哎呀，好多了。伤哪儿了？哎呦，没伤没伤，这儿这好多了嘛。哎呀，你让我说你什么好呢？那开个车注意你就不能集中点啊。哎呀，车半路出故障了，我也没辙呀。哎呀，行行了，没出大事就好。It's like her. I didn't tell her. It's like, girl, just get out of here before she, before she notices you. You 怎么来了？我来看看他，探个病不行啊。一会儿你去病房看他，不要对他脸指指点点，尤其不能提大小眼的事，听到没有？哦，嗯，那我今天。I mean, maybe wait a minute. Mama's in there. Don't need her getting the wrong idea about you two. 这个葡萄。哎，妈，我不想吃。哎呀，增加维生素。Oh, does she already know you? Does she already know about you? I do enjoy this jacket you're wearing. Come, y'all better come through with the labels on the bag already, Chanel. Okay. Lord, she gonna say something? 还真是大小眼啊。嗯，夏耀，嗯，你好点了吗？好多了。瞧瞧那脸儿。哎，来，颜蓉，这个香蕉。啊、哦，谢谢阿姨。<笑>我不能在这儿待太久，不然肯定又会说错话。嗯 ，At least she's cognizant. I feel like he knows that she'll tell, she'll spill the truth. Um, 阿姨，这段时间你也辛苦了，你要照顾好自己啊。嗯。It's like as long as I keep my mouth full, I won't say something bad. 嗯，是啊呀，那个，你照顾好自己，好好养病。我先走了哈。嗯。啊，那好，阿姨送你。嗯，不用了，阿姨。
，你留在这儿照顾下药吧。嗯，哦哦，我我有事，我先走了。慢走啊。好，好，嗯，拜。Okay, she did good. 嗯，下午做一个眼部的检查。嗯，检查，检查什么呀？嗯，护士说她做一个大小眼的检查。大小眼检查，大小眼。啊！哎呦喂！哎，你要不说我还真没看出来，真的是眼大眼小。啊 ，We were so close, girl. So close, baby. Slip it under the door. It's very serious. This one is bigger than the other. Baby, 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 baby. I'm afraid I'm going to fall. So close. She was so close. She almost made it. Hey, you are coming to see me? Yes. Hey. 我跟你说啊，进去以后千万不要对夏瑶的脸指指点点，尤其是不要提大小眼的事儿。嗯，我跟他说什么聊什么，用得着你管吗 ？Girl, he just got chum. Don't. I know you're upset at him. You got your heart broken, bro. Calm your ass down with your beautiful cheekbones. Lord, that man's face is gorgeous. I. 夏瑶，嗯，今天不太疼了吧？嗯，好多了嘛。大雨来了，哎呦！来，过来坐。Yeah, I was probably like, is anybody else going to visit me today? Lord, I've had like eighteen visitors today. I'm tired. 你帮我把这换洗的衣服洗一下吧。你不是要跟我决裂吗？你不是受不了我吗？还来看我干嘛 ？Still not friends。我就是想来看看你遭了多大报应。有人还不乐意，还有提大小眼的事儿。啥？你说你都一个眼睛大一个眼睛小了，你还怕别人说啊 ？Rude。这不光一个眼睛大，一个眼睛小，脸上还青一块紫一块的，跟雀斑似的，鼻头还肿了一截，人中都显得短了一截，俩腮帮子还一个大一个小的，我还有更大的笑话，你看不？看呀、啊，为什么不看、啊？这，这是什么？我就是在给你送这个的路上出事儿了。你你送我这个干嘛？胡强，你说干嘛？哄某个孙子开心呗。说我不够关心他，说我对他态度有问题。我大中午不吃饭，跑去给他买护肤品，晚上一下班急着给他送过去。结果车在路上出问题了。算了，不说，浪费感情。Y'all better make up. You're not here to see a joke, are you? Why are you laughing? No, Yang, you listen to me. I'm not going to say anything. I'm like a mirror in my head. You're just going to be a little bit more than that. You're going to be like a little bit more than that. You're going to be like a little bit more than that.我说错了吗？你说我藏着掖着，我前两天给你打电话，求着你哄着你，是哪个孙子不鸟我？你说我磨磨唧唧，你倒是给他痛快啊！啊！行，你是病人，你最大，你说什么都对，行吗？ This 
that's it. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about the lingering feelings I've had for you for the last, like, three decades or something. We're not going to touch on that, no? Okay. Okay, what is this cigarette we're, or not cigarette, what's this storyline we're introducing? Hazy 他不是每年都参加那个国际大赛吗？我可是热心观众。大哥，帮我了，一场都没落过。上车。Okay, and you're hanging up here like Batman. Okay. The fuck, Superman, Thor, Hulk shit is this? Okay. 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 <laughs> Not a hair out of place. He's like, get that girl, please. Get your ass down on my face. Suplex his ass. Psycho to Munja hides a eagle shot. You better let them know. Now, do I think that's gonna stop then, or... Okay, child. Save lives, save whatever the hell y'all are transporting. Why did you take the most complicated route out of there? Why didn't you just go out that giant open window you had over there? But okay. Yeah, why don't you go through that fucking window, that giant now? Because mm -hmm, cool guys never look back at the explosion. Yes, baby. Sashay with your trench coat blown in the wind. Well, 
He's in, huh? You better strut. Oh, come in, You put it on turn to draw the Okay. Okay. The, the last scene was interesting. <laughs> we'll say that. Um, we'll just backtrack. I'll come back to that. So we started off with... <laughs> I'm sorry, it just tickles me. We started off with being in the hospital. Um, yeah, I'll have whatever surgery or whatever procedure he needed to have. Get everything cleaned out, removed bandage up and whatnot and Zong was just there he was there being a good friend for him you know holding his hand making sure he's okay um, basically again giving him a reality check like girl you, you gotta stop confusing real life with like your boxing matches and whatnot like the rules don't apply in real life especially like if you're fighting for your life you're trying to you know save yourself like girl people are gonna use underhanded tactics you, you you gotta expect this stuff you can't expect them to be playing nice and clean especially like he came to jump you like you can't expect him to be playing nice um and then zone started blaming himself a little bit for what happened to Yao, and it's like oh baby poor thing um and then yeah, we had those moments where Yao was trying to go to sleep. He had like these nightmares. I don't know if he was having nightmares of what, like if he was reliving what happened to him or if he was just having nightmares in general of something else. Um, but either way, he was having nightmares, night terrors, whatever it was, and he'd wake up and then he'd see, he'd see Zong and he'd feel Zong holding his hand and he's like, okay, I'm safe. I don't have anything to worry about. And then that happened a couple times throughout the night and he'd wake himself up, look, see Zong's like, it's okay, I'm safe. Because mm -hmm. Zong is my friend. My friend is here to keep me safe. Not my boyfriend. No, my friend. Because friendship. Bromance, that's what you guys keep telling me in the comment section, right? Bromance. Um, yeah. My friend's here. Um, and then we, you know, flash forward to the next day. His face is healing. Um, it's not completely healed, but like, it's not as bad as I anticipated it being, but it's healing. There's still lots of, you know, skin regrowth that needs to happen, scars will happen, all that jazz and whatnot, but he's healing. Um, and we had, he had a lot of visitors. He had, obviously, Zong never left his side um, until Mama came in like, Oh my God, my baby! Oh Lord! And I'm like, okay, he, Zong, go, go, go before she starts questioning you about something. Um, and then... Uh, Rue came in, and Zong just gave her the warning, like, hey, if you're gonna visit him, make sure you don't mention anything about his scarring, his different-sized eyes, or no nothing. He is perfect. He is perfection, okay? And she was doing so damn well. She was like, okay, mama handed me a fruit. Okay, I'm gonna take full advantage. I'm gonna just eat this banana so I don't say a damn word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all, I'm gonna peace out. Have a good time. And she almost made it. Almost made it out. And then the nurse came in with whatever, and she's like, Oh yeah, she just wanted to, you know, schedule the appointment to check out your different sized eyes. And it's like, oh baby, you were so close. So damn close. And mom was like, oh, I didn't even notice. Oh my god, ah. And then Da Yu came. We didn't get any Wang Wangzi this this time around, but that's okay. Da Yu came and I guess he came to well, he's still worried about his friend. Yes, he's upset, he's hurt, all that kind of jazz, but it's still his friend. So even though he was being a little antagonistic and making fun of him and bringing up everything that they told him to, you know, not bring attention to, um, yeah, I was like, okay, well, here, take this gift that I got for you. I was on my way to see you when I got jumped. I was on my way to bring this to you because I was trying to amend things with you. Um, blah, 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 blah. And I still don't know... Like, I felt like when Dao, Dao Yu went off on him, he was very clear that he had some sort of feelings and whatnot, and it wasn't just the fact that, oh, you ignored me, blah, blah, blah. Um, but maybe I was just reading too much into the captions, maybe reading too much into the subtitles. Because to me, it made perfect sense. Like, yes, I got feelings and I'm ending things with you, but I still don't know if Yao really realizes that he had these feelings for him. Like, it just, it doesn't feel like he does. If he does realize it, then he is playing it off like he knows nothing brilliantly, because I, I just don't feel like he does. 
Um, so when he, he gave Dayu the present, and now you was like, you know, obviously feeling badly and, you know, feeling kind of regretful for the things he was saying right then and there. Um, he's like, oh, why are you so quiet? I thought you wanted to break up with me, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And, you know, they clearly made up there, made up their friendship, reconciled to some level. I just felt like there was this elephant in the room about, hey, I've got these feelings for you and you've kind of ignored me all this time that was just kind of left untouched and we just haven't gone back to it. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much has actually come out, but whatever but yeah then we had um we had um the i guess black panther people tr smuggling something i guess so not only are they a rival bodyguard group they're also undercover smugglers of some something that's illegal i imagine um and at first I was like, okay, what is this storyline that we're about to introduce? Don't tell me we're going to introduce some weird, random drug smuggling storyline in the, you know, the 11th hour of this series. Like, okay. But it just seemed like, nope, Zong was just there watching, 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 and delivering a warning, giving a message. So he lurked up in the ceiling like Batman, and then he jumped down on the car like Thor or the Hulk and imploded the car because Zong, this, you know hundred pound man apparently has thighs of steel and can implode cars at a, at a moment's notice. Um, so yeah, blew all the damn glass out of the thing. The thing caved in, they crashed, they're knocking over gasoline canes. He, Zong goes beat the ass, just kicking ass, bam, 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 thank you, ma'am. And he's like, you tell the rest of the Black Dragon, not Black Dragon, I'm watching too much Mortal Kombat, Black Panthers or whatever the hell, Black bodyguard thing y'all got going on here you tell them to they put one more finger on my baby yes my baby i don't know if that was a translation edition that the person who translated it was doing because clearly they're having fun with all the emojis that they keep adding in the translations so i don't know if that's a direct translation or it's just something that they put in but it said my baby so i'm gonna go with my baby obviously he meant my baby friend because friendship um but you tell them they lay one more hand on my baby and i'm gonna I'm make the black panther dragon gang syndicate and in blood blood and fire and then boom lights the bitch on fire and i'm like mm, okay then he walks away slowly with all the explosions behind him because that's what you do in the movies the, the cool guy does you don't look back at it you just poof, 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 and just walk you strut i'm like okay baby you have this cinematic movie moment and whoever was doing the explosions was having dandy old time they were just like fire fire Fire! Fire! Boom! 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 I'm like, girl, there wasn't that much stuff in the damn thing, but okay. Fire! Fire! Boom! I'm like, okay, girl, y'all go on ahead and have fun with this. So yes, that whole last scene felt a little... Um, not terribly rooted in reality, but that's okay. That is okay. We're gonna let, we're just gonna let it slide. Um, obviously this friendship bromance, um, that they've got going on is... very romantic mm -hmm. i don't know what else to say romance my ass that's all i can really say at this point because y'all i just i don't understand people's insistence to categorize this as not a bl series as a bromance i just i don't understand it i never will understand it i i will die on this hill it, it don't make no earthly sense to me but whatever people are entitled to their opinions i guess they're wrong opinions but whatever anyway yep those are my thoughts so hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can um if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys.